Good day and welcome to Drupal. My name is Wayne Robinson, editor of Print 21. I'm here with Mark Tinkler from Epson. Mark, first of all, what's your job title at Epson? Uh, I'm the head of product marketing for the commercial and industrial division in Epson Europe. Okay, fantastic. So you know uh, everything that's going on in Epson, obviously. We're in front of a, a well, what can be described as a box at the moment, but this is going to be a very interesting machine for Epson, isn't it? Well, yeah, this is a demonstration, Wayne, of a concept for our shore press range. It's using a new version of our water-based resin ink technology okay. for label printing. Um, it has a new printer uh, technology platform, uh, Epson Precision Core Printer Head. Uh, it's printing at 1200 by 1200 DPI okay. in a single pass. So we're getting even higher quality print yeah. results uh, and actually more productivity as well. Okay, I mean, Epson's well known for its Precision Core. It's a new head, isn't it? It's a new generation of that yeah, head yeah. utilised for this particular platform. First time we've shown it, I think, actually. Okay, yes. and what does it bring, the new head? Well, the ability to do that uh, single pass at 1200 okay. by 1200 yeah. DPI, as you may be aware, some of our other printers make a multi-pass, but yeah. this is just a single pass. It also has a new technology called nozzle verification technology, which means what happens is we monitor, or the press monitors, each and every nozzle in real time to see that it's firing correctly. If it discovers that one is not jetting as it's printing, yeah. it will automatically compensate. So you don't get any lines ah. or gaps, and all that is done without yeah. stopping the press automatically. Okay. So high productivity, high efficiency. Absolutely. High productivity, no wastage, just keep the job running. And and that, I guess that's productivity and efficiency are the kind of what this machine is about, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And we've also yeah. done that through automating yeah. a lot more of the, for example, the head maintenance yeah. processes so that the operator yeah. doesn't have to do lots of manual yeah. cleaning. All of that is automated. So again, it's all about productivity okay. and minimum operator workload. And when will we see this machine move from concept stage to commercial availability? That's think? a good question, that's still TBC, <laughs> obviously <laughs> okay. we're, we're showing the concept here at Drupal, getting the feedback yeah. and then we'll see how that goes as we, as we okay. move forward. Okay, because Epson of course spends a huge amount of money on R&D, the stand is packed full as we mentioned earlier with far more products than we've ever seen before. Oh, indeed. I think in each area on the stand, you'll see either a newly launched product or a concept uh, uh, of different devices. So, for example, we have concepts for our new 64-inch signage printers, yeah. sublimation printers. There's also a uh, new small format UV flatbed of A3 yeah. as well as the A4. Okay. There's so many different devices around yeah. the stand. It's amazing. OK, well, let's go and have a look at the established shore press that's just next door to this one. So now we've moved from concepts to commercial reality. This is the Shorepress L4733AW, uh, which presumably means a white in there, Mark. Indeed. This is your main label machine at the moment? Yeah, we've got two presses that are yeah. uh, in the market today, the 4733 and the 6534. So the 4733 is using the water-based resin ink, the 6534, the UV ink. And in fact, yeah. I, think, I think we're the only manufacturer that's com successfully commercialized presses using both of those okay. e-technologies. And, and is that because it's according to application that you would sub sell one or the other to a label printer? Um, yeah, that's one of the reasons. Yeah. I mean, for example, the, the 4733 and the previous models using the water-based ink have been particularly successful, for example, for very high quality, uh, high value labels on okay. Texas substrates, like wine labels, for example. So it's ideally suited to that application. Okay, yeah, and we've seen in Australia and New Zealand quite a few of these machines going in and sometimes into commercial printers that yeah. haven't actually put one in before. It, indeed. Indeed, we see, we see these presses going into a variety of users, traditional converters, commercial printers, even some into what I call print for use applications where manufacturers or brands okay. are producing their own labels on demand. Okay, and in a, what's a crowded market in some, some ways, digital label presses, what's, what makes the Epson machine here stand out? I think it's really the combination of the quality, uh, the flexibility, and indeed the ease of use. It's yeah. something that's relatively easy to integrate into a workflow, okay. easy to use, yeah. and is a, let's call it a reasonable level of investment, especially for if it's your first digital label yeah. press. Okay, and you you team it up with an inline converting unit? Uh, for the 4733, it's not normally inline. Okay. We're showing it here today with the, uh, the GMDC 330 Nano, which is yeah. offline. Uh, the 6534, which is the UV press, which we show inline, um, is available has a connection kit for that functionality okay. and some people may wish to use that. Okay, terrific. Well, Mark, thanks so much for your time here. Uh, it's been great to get an insight into the label uh, printing capabilities of Epsom. We'll actually, uh, in a couple of days, we're doing another tour on the Epsom stand, a full tour, where we'll also look at your desktop labels, That because uh, you've got a whole thing going on there as well, haven't you? Indeed. We've got labels that from, from the desktop all the way through to the industrial applications, yeah. so we can probably meet your needs, whatever they are. Yeah, well, it's a great market, isn't it, labels? Absolutely. Packaging and labeling is a great yeah. market to be in. Okay, Mark, thanks so much for your time. Well, this is uh, Wayne Robinson, Mark Tinkler, saying uh, goodbye from the Epsom stand at Drupa.